In this tutorial, we'll learn how to crop a visual in the Video Mapper application. You can refer to the previous tutorial to learn how to create virtual surfaces and map them on a simple shape, we use a cube, and how to send visual to them in GrandVJ. But with the cropping function, you can decide to send just part of your visual to the surface. This allows us to recreate big images on various surfaces. In the toolbar option, we check the crop panel icon. This will split the surface editor horizontally to show the crop panel on top with the output panel below. The crop zone can be a rectangle, triangle or grid and can be edited in the cropping panel just like surfaces can be edited in the output panel. The four corners of rectangle cropping zones can be moved separately if you check the option Edit Grid. So here I want to have just part of my visual on my left and right side of the cube. In the cropping panel I will determine which part of my visual I select to which surface. On my left surface I will crop the bottom left of my visual and for the right side I will crop the bottom right. I can edit my cropping in the graphical editor or I can enter numerical coordinates to make it pixel perfect. To make the cropping accurate, I use the test pattern, but I can also select a visual from GrandVJ. So here you see the result of the cropping. Instead of sending the full visual on my surface, we only see the bottom part of it.